What's up guys, Joe Munoz, another video here on the 320. This time we're talking about speed mode. What does it mean? Column one of the FMA, otherwise known as the flight mode enunciator, is your auto thrust column. Speed mode is a variable thrust mode. Let's not complicate it, it means exactly what it sounds like. The thrust varies to maintain speed. There's several ways for you to get into speed mode, one of which is to turn off both flight directors, which is a memory item or part of the memory item for TCAS RA. Wow, I just said a bunch of stuff. Let's organize it. Right now, we're in speed out nav. We're tracking the green line. We're level at 7,000 feet. And what I want to go through is the memory item for the TCAS RA, specifically why we turn off the flight directors, who turns off the flight directors, and the importance of it. So you'll recall the TCAS RA memory item. When we hear traffic, traffic, we verbalize. TCAS, I have control. And then we're going to hear climb, or descend, or maintain vertical speed. Or maybe you hear nothing. And if you hear nothing, you have no RA, but if you hear anything after traffic, traffic, it's going to be an RA, including maintain vertical speed. That's technically a resolution advisory. We have to apply the memory item. Here it comes. Autopilot off. Flight directors off. We'll notify ATC. Who turns off the flight directors? The pilot monitoring turns off the flight directors. Why pilot monitoring? Well, here's why. Because pilot flying, you're busy doing something which is flying, <laughs> okay? You're flying the plane. So pilot monitoring. You have to turn off the flight directors. We preferably don't want to each person turn off their flight director, and the reason that is is because the pilot, someone, pilot flying or monitoring, you might think that you turned off your flight director. Perhaps you actually selected the button, but for some reason, the aircraft didn't register that. It didn't receive your command to turn off the flight director, in which case, we might end up with one flight director still on and the other one actually off. We need both off. Let me illustrate this here. Let's say the pilot flying is the captain. I turn off, or I think I turn off, my flight director. I push the button, for whatever reason it doesn't turn off. The FO turns off his or her flight director, okay? I'm now left with one FD dash. Because I'm in one FD dash, I still have a flight director on, and therefore, I have not forced the column number one of the FMA into speed mode. Now, right now, we happen to be in speed mode, but I'm going to give you an example now whereby we're issued a descent, okay? So let's say, now we've got both flight directors on. I'm going to issue us a descent, okay? So they, ATC calls us up and says, uh, SpongeBob 101. The reason I use the term SpongeBob as a call sign is because here at our 142 Academy, One Step Prep Academy, our call sign literally is SpongeBob. So we call ourselves SpongeBob here. So SpongeBob 101, descend and maintain uh, 4,000. Okay, so we're going to select 4,000. We're going to pull for open descent. Thrust idle, open descent. You'll see the FMA changing there. And let's say as we're descending, we get traffic traffic, climb. So, traffic, traffic, TCAS I have control, climb, this is the RA now, autopilot off, flight directors off, pilot flying, captain selects, or so they believe they select their flight directors off, pilot monitoring, the FO in this case, selects his or her flight director off. Now, we've selected it off. We're going to begin complying with the RA. Remember when we comply with an RA, the VSI over here will have a red no-fly zone and a green fly band where we want to actually be. We're going to begin pitching up to climb. And notice we have thrust idle. And this is the problem. If we don't ensure we turn off both flight directors, we could pitch the aircraft into a climb with idle thrust. And it is entirely because we left one of our flight directors on because we didn't ensure that both of them came off, which is why pilot monitoring, it is crucial that you turn off both flight directors. And furthermore, that you ensure column one says speed mode. And it will say speed mode if column five is empty of the flight directors. So if I turn off the autopilot and the flight directors, here comes the autopilot off now. Autopilot is off, okay. Here's my autopilot off. Notice I'm still in speed mode, by, and correction, in uh, thrust idle mode, by the way. Now I turn off my other flight director. Now I can pitch up. And as I pitch up, 
to comply. Let me just do a little zoom in here so you can see this. As I pitch up now, you'll notice number column number one says speed. Column number five of the FMA is empty. And as a result of that, I'm pitching up. My speed is decaying. But if I can get this to populate nicely here, my thrust is increasing. Okay, obviously I'm pitching fairly aggressive. But I'm being met with a thrust application in order to prevent this low energy state. And this is the importance of turning off both flight directors. You force speed mode, variable thrust, the thrust will vary to maintain speed and allow us to pitch freely to comply with the TCAS RA. Pilot monitoring turns it off. Other ways you can get speed mode, there's several. Glide slope star, it goes to speed mode. Vertical speed, it goes to speed mode. FPA, speed mode. Geometric descent path. That's energy management, descent planning, got a whole video course on that. Uh, what else? Final app, turn off both flight directors. These are all ways that we can force speed mode. Out star, okay, that's the seventh one. There should be seven of them. So we've got uh, speed out star, glide slope star, final app, track FPA, vertical speed, geometric descent path, both flight directors off. Those are the seven ways to get speed mode. Okay, great, probably fairly deep oral question, but if you come here to the academy, we'll teach it to you, and of course, also on our video program. Hope you found value in the video. Very much look forward to working with you here in person or virtually. And by the way, we've got many great things coming up. I wanna share with you really quick a couple things. Number one, we're actively looking for 737 and A320 instructors. If you consider yourself to be a top level instructor, I would love for you to come and work with us here. We'll get you qualified and standardized. Standardized means also you become AX3 certified. We have AX3 certification courses every month. If you don't know what that is, that is essentially how to teach at a very high level. How to not go from, how to go from instructor to connective communicator, to be a, a, a very elaborate uh, instructor and fine-tune, if you will, your ability to transmit data effectively so that your audience receives it being your students, receives it very well. So that's a program, eight hours, we do it once a month. Uh, very much look forward to having you in that. And finally, I'm going to share with you, if you don't already know, I am uh, very passionate about bodybuilding, fitness. I'm doing a bodybuilding competition. I will be stepping on stage June 3rd. We're raising funds to help lift, okay, uh, the part in the pun there. We're going to help lift the careers of uh, some student pilots. All the funds that we raise, I will be matching with my own money. And then we're going to find some student pilots that we can hopefully add some value to in the form of a donation, a contribution to their studies so that they can go forth and have their careers lifted and elevated. So if you want to participate in that, you want to be a potential recipient or a contributor, we very much appreciate you. OneStepPrep.com forward slash lift. We can't, we can't do this without you. I'm certainly asking for your help. As I said, I'll be matching all funds and the student pilots that are gonna partake in this will very much appreciate you uh, and you will really help to make an impact and add value to them at the highest level. So, uh, hope you found value in the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share, um, drop any questions you may have below. Do my very best to get back to you as best as we can in a timely fashion. Also, if you wanna come train with us for ATP, type ratings, prep courses, interview prep, whatever, onestepprep.com. See all of the, uh, the list of services we have there and also hit the Contact Us tab or just scroll down to the bottom. You'll see how you can get in touch with us. All right, very much look forward to working with you. Juan and Joe, your friends and training program success. We'll see you in another video.